when you were younger, it is very likely that your parents told you stories about mythical creatures like the boogeyman preying on bad children in order to scare you straight. But do these stories compare to these Mexican urban legends? Welcome to 5 Most Terrifying Mexican Urban Legends. Number 5. Probably the most well-known Latin American mythical creature is a chupacabra. The name literally translates to goat sucker as it is known to go around farms and suck the blood out of livestock, most commonly goats. This creature was first reported to be seen in Puerto Rico in March of 1995. In this first reported sight, eight goats were discovered dead, completely blood drained. The chupacabra was also seen again that year, only a few months later, where around 150 animals were allegedly killed. After these bizarre attacks were published in Puerto Rico, more and more attacks were reported, but this time not just in Puerto Rico, but all over the South American continent. There are many different descriptions of what the chupacabra really looks like, the most popular being a reptilian creature with green skin and red eyes. It is also said to have a giant spike going down its back. Other descriptions say it is a hairless, wolf-like creature. Number 4 Just like the westernized story of the boogeyman, El Coco's legend used to scare kids into behaving themselves. Often compared to the devil, El Coco will look out after children that misbehaved and would go to their homes. Once El Coco got to the child, it is said that he would either eat them as a whole or bring the child to a very scary place far away from home. This legend originated in Portugal and took the form of a ghost with a pumpkin head. The story behind this legend is that a man who suffered from tuberculosis was extremely desperate in finding a cure. He was so desperate that he went to a native healer to get a cure. This healer told him that he must drink the blood of a child in order to be cured. So now he roams the street in search of misbehaving children. As this legend spread across the South American world, El Coco's appearance changed. He is now described to be a shape-shifting being that is very ugly and scary to look at. Some say that he even takes the shape of a shadow on the wall that shouldn't be there. He even hides anywhere in a child's room, from behind the curtains to under the bed. Other people say he is about the size of a fairy and has piercing red eyes. The story of El Coco are commonly told as a lullaby to children, one of which directly translates to, Sleep child, sleep now. Here comes the Coco, and he will eat you. <laughs> Number 3 La Llorona is a ghost that takes the shape of a weeping woman who haunts rivers and canals. She is such a popular legend that there have been many movies and songs based on her. The urban legend goes like this. La Llorona was a beautiful woman named Maria. She had children and a husband. Her husband left her for a much younger and beautiful woman. So Maria decided to get revenge on her husband and she did so by drowning her children in a river. She soon realized after that the children were dead. She became very depressed about it that she drowned herself as well. She gets to the heaven's gates and learns that she is not allowed to enter until she finds her children. So now Maria's weeping ghost is forced to wander the rivers and canals at night in search for her children. It is said that La Llorona will kidnap children that resembles hers and beg them for forgiveness. She then drowns them again in order to go to heaven but never makes it. Also, if you happen to be walking the street at night and hear her weeping, you're marked for death so don't even bother running. Number 2 La Mala Hora, also known as the Evil Doer, is an evil demon that is known to be scarier than the devil himself. She will stay late at night at dark intersections on isolated roads and wait for a lonely traveler to cross path with her. Malaora changes shapes and sizes constantly and rapidly. She starts off as a large black blob of mass. If you encounter La Malaora, she will do her best to literally drive you insane to death. When the time is right, she will rush up to her new target and strangle them. Most people will refuse to talk about this evil demon in fear, of course, that she will be finding them. Others say that she takes the shape of an evil old woman. This woman wears all black and floats along the side of the road. Also, it is important to know that this woman is a death omen. So if you spot her at any intersection, it is certain that either you or someone you know will die. Number 1 El Sibon, which translates to Whistler in English, is a tall, thin ghost that is known as the Death Omen. His story starts off as him being a very spoiled child. One day this boy wanted to eat venison for dinner, so he sends his father to go hunt for some. 
His father was taking a while to get his meat, so the boy went out to meet with his father, only to find him empty-handed. The boy was so furious at his father that he proceeded by killing him. The boy then cuts up his father to pieces and brings it home for dinner. His mother then noticed that the meat didn't resemble venison at all, and that in fact it was her husband's body. She cursed her son for eternity and got the boy's grandfather to punish him and sent dogs out to hunt him. The boy now roams the countryside searching for his next victim. You will know if you're his next victim by his eminent whistle. If you hear his whistle from up close, you're safe. But if you hear it from far away, then you're next. Thanks again to everyone for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to us for more updates.